The way you write your CSS is not the best way. You either write a generic class that targets all the items on the page, or you go to specific, but then you have to keep changing it when your HTML is changed. Finding the right balance is quite challenging, and there are a couple of solutions out there. One of them is to use the CSS BEM methodology to keep the specificity low while allowing you to be specific in what you select. Some other options are using styled components or some JavaScript libraries. But there is even better solution without using any methodology, styled component, or any library. That is using the scope concept, which offers you a way to select HTML elements only within a set tree of your DOM. The scope limits your reach of selector, helping you to target and style specific part of your HTML. For example, if you want to style the images in the card only, you do so using scope. This will only target the image within the card. But you might be wondering, that is possible without using scope as well. You are not wrong, but you can do more with scope, such as defining the limits. For example, if the card has two images, one is in the header and the other one is in the content, and you want to limit the styling to the header, you can add a limit. This will limit the style just to the card header, and it will not have any effect on the card content. Within the scope, you have the scope pseudo class which targets the root element. This scope pseudo class can be used to limit the scoping or to add a specific relation rule. For example, you can target only the direct children of the card. In another example where the scope represents the sidebar, this example means to end the scoping at elements with the class content that are descendant of the elements with the class sidebar. When using scope like this example, it is converted to end selector, and this process is called desugaring. To understand the specificity when using scope, here are a few examples. This image tag will have the specificity of either 101 or 011. If the image is in the sidebar, it will be 101, otherwise 011 for guard. To explain this more or to give you a quick refresher, Specificity is usually represented as a tuple of three numbers A, B, C. A is the count of ID selectors, B is the count of class attributes or pseudo class selectors, and C is the count of type selectors, pseudo element selectors. Scope itself does not alter any specificity. You can also use the scope in inline CSS. This means this example can also be written using the inline CSS like this. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. Example like this is invalid because it targets an element that is out of the scope. And also, within the scope, you are not isolating the style but limiting the reach. In this example, the color will still inherit down to the card content element. If you have liked this content, consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next video.